Hi guys, today we're going to be reacting to Victoria's Secret model Martha Hunt nighttime skin routine for Harfa's Bazaar. There she is in all of her glory. And now needless to say, I am of course expecting her skin routine to be first of all very bougie and extra, but also I expect her to have her skin routine nailed down to the T. Because models, I mean literally their job is to look pretty and so good skin comes with a job. However, due to recent events and recent videos we have seen, like for example Ashley Graham's nighttime skin routine, we have learned that that is not always the case and models not always know what they're doing with their skin so I really do not know what to expect from her at this point so you guys I'm really excited to see what Martha is giving us so without further ado let's get to reacting shall we there she is in all of her glory she is so pretty I tend to have really dry skin. Okay, so she's not wearing makeup. I wish she would have come on camera with a beat on because I just wanted to see how she was taking off that beat, that makeup. Maybe she was using a double cleanse or whatever she would have used. That would have been nice to see. But whatever, let's continue watching. And so my skincare routine is pretty simple. It's all about more hydration. But on days like today when I have a full beat, I do a couple little extra... Wait, she is wearing makeup? <laughs> Oh wow, Martha! Miss Martha, this is a very natural look right here. The Insta body in me is really popping through her. Huh? Like, I am used to packing my makeup on my face. This is way too natural. I wouldn't be able to pull this off, Martha. So hey, at least now we can see how she's taking off this very beat and excessive makeup look that she's talking about. I do a couple little extra steps. So today I'm gonna do a one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven step process. Okay, so okay, so a seven step process. I'm imagining she's gonna go with the Korean way of skincare So it's promising by now, but let's see what Miss Martha has given us so Starting with cleansing off the makeup I like using Bioderma solution because it's really gentle on my skin and doesn't strip away too many of the natural oils And these are some really great silky little clay to po cotton pads that I like to use just because the material feels really nice and soft on my skin. There was a meme recently that- Okay, so she's going in with the OG Micellar Water Bioderma, which, I mean, it's totally fine as a first cleanse. I mean, I would prefer an oil cleanser just because that's a little bit better at melting the makeup off. However, as a first cleanse, Micellar Water is totally fine. What is not okay, though, is if you're using it as your only cleanse because that will just not be enough, sis. You will still have your greasy self face and greasy makeup on. So you gotta take that off with a fish cleanser after the micellar water that is the mistake I see a lot of my friends doing recently that kind of went viral that asked a question if your fiance was kidnapped in a deserted island or something like that would you still do your skincare routine and immediately I was like that's insane like of course not and then I kind of started thinking about it more and I was like maybe I would be that person so sorry fiance <laughs> Okay, so apart from the story, I wanted to point out how gentle she's being with wiping her skin. Do you see any tugging, any pulling, any pushing of the skin? No, you don't. No, you don't because she's being so gentle. I have to come clean. I have to admit, I'm not even that gentle with her skin. I don't know how she's doing it, but honestly, Martha, props to you. As of now, it's going really well, you guys. Martha, you're promising. <laughs> okay, I'm rubbing really hard right now, and I know that's bad for you, but that's just kind of how I take off my makeup. Can't really help it. Not one, not one. See, if she was using an oil cleanser, she wouldn't have to rub on the eye because the oil cleanser would literally just melt all the eye makeup off. Now I'm going to use a cream cleanser. I've been using Luzerne for forever. It's my trusted go-to. They use really nice ingredients and it just feels really soft and gentle on my skin. Like I said, I have dry skin, so cream. Okay, so one second, hold your reins, let me look it up and I'm coming at you with the ingredient list and what I think about it. Okay, guys, so I looked it up. It seems to be quite nice. I mean, it's oil-free, it's sulfate-free, it's got aloe vera gel and algae in it. Uh, it seems very nice. We approve it. Okay, Miss Martha, let's keep watching what, what she has to say. Cleansers are more ideal for me and maybe once a week I'll use an exfoliator, but not too much. Okay, actually she just made a really good point. You guys, a lot of you in the comments, I see you asking me all the time, Mateo, how many times a week do I have to use an exfoliator, like a lactic acid, like an AHA or a BHA? And a lot of you actually think that you have to exfoliate every day, which is totally not the case, you guys, because it could actually lead to over exfoliation of your skin and that would make your skin a lot more irritated, actually ruin the barrier of your skin, which comes with a lot more many problems. Really, guys, for dry skin people, so like just like Martha, you should be exfoliating 
dieting, as she said, once, maximum twice, but I would be careful with that, a week. And instead, if you have oily skin, your skin is a little bit more tough. Let's just say she's been through a lot more. She's seen a lot. She can go through better. So I would actually say you can get away with two maximum three times a week. But then again, don't go daily, never, ever, because that could cause really serious damage to your skin. Got it? Got it. Oh my God, you would think I'd be better at this, but there's still mascara here. It's honestly the most satisfying feeling to wash your face. I don't know if it's because it's my job to be constantly wearing makeup or if every woman probably feels this way, but I just love that feeling of just washing it all away. I'm so sorry, Marifa, for interrupting you. I just have a little quick question. Are you sure you took off that contour on your cheekbones? Because that is just looking very just like shadowy and cut. And if you did, then shame on you because you are making me doubt myself. How dare you show up in here with that cut natural cheekbone? Do you not know better that some of us are not born with your features? God damn it, Martha, you are so pretty. I hate you. Let's keep watching. I'm so sorry. There she is in all of her glory. Truly. <sighs> serum. I have to wear a serum. I just like the way it feels on my skin. Supposedly it may... Okay, so she's skipping toner and essence, so maybe she isn't going the Korean way of skincare because Korean skincare does have toner and essence in it. But as I always say, toner and essences are not necessary in your skincare routine. They are there for you to use if you want to pamper yourself, if you want to be just like upper echelon, a little bit more bougie, then go ahead and use them. And they're also a great way to add more hydration or maybe exfoliate your skin. However, they are not essential steps in your skin routine. I sometimes skip them when I don't have time and I have to run out of my house for a busy day. So honestly, it's completely fine to skip them as a whole and go straight to a serum like Martha is doing. And now serums, however, they have to be very much present in class. They actually have to have signed in the registrar and actually raise their hand and say present when they call out their name because serums are necessary in everybody's skin routine. Serum, I have to wear a serum. I just like the way it feels on my skin. Supposedly it makes all of the ingredients transfer better when you use moisturizer after. So there's some signs there, but I just know that I like wearing a serum. I just like any extra layers of hydration I can put on this thin, dry skin. Okay, all right, sure, honey. I mean, I feel like you're a little bit confused over there. I don't know who told you that, but usually it's the other way around. So serums actually contain the ingredients, the active ingredients that you want to penetrate into your skin. So for example, all the vitamin A, B, C, D, E, F, and the rest of the alphabet. And then you want to go in with a moisturizer to help all those active ingredients in the serum to actually stay locked into your skin and actually penetrate deeper. It's not that you want the serum to help the ingredients in the moisturizer to penetrate. It's the other way around use a little bit confused but one thing that is true she said is that some serums are actually hydrating like for example our hyaluronic acids we all know about that most serums however are not hydrating at all like your retinols are gonna dry you out vitamin c is irritating salicylic acids drying so you know if you're looking for a serum that is actually hydrating then definitely look at the ingredient list and see that it contains hydrating ingredients like your oils your hydrating alcohols your dimethicones glycerins you got that let's keep watching this one is called revive just a disclaimer, I'm super lucky. I get so many products sent to me. Okay, see, but this is an anti-aging serum, honey. So uh, you're just a little bit confused because usually anti-aging products, usually the ones that really work, so the ones that contain peptides, the ones that contain retinols or other real anti-aging ingredients and not just moisturizing, hydrating ingredients, those ones are a little bit drying for your skin. Anyways, I'm gonna look up the ingredient list for this and then I'm gonna tell you my thoughts. Okay, so actually I was wrong. Miss Martha was right because this serum is not anti-aging, first of all, because I don't see any real anti-aging ingredients. All I I see is just very nourishing and hydrating ingredients like for example I see oils like soybean oil I see a lot of dimethicones which are kind of slimy so they can give you that very kind of like nourishing feel <gasps> oh my god you guys I just look at the price brace yourselves please sit down because my, my head is feeling a little bit dizzy $485 you guys this is crazy about to spend on a serum but you know if you have that kind of money if you want that bougie then definitely go ahead and spend your coins you don't have to as I always say there are very great drugstore alternatives but go ahead Martha yes so I'm basically human guinea pig I like ah, ah, ah. 
My, did you see her? Did you hear what she said? She said, human guinea pig, have you seen what's on my channel banner? The skincare guinea pig. Martha, I'ma let you know that that is copyrighted and trademarked by me. So if you say that one more time, I'ma have my lawyers call you. I'ma have my people call your people. And then I'm gonna take you in court. Let's be real, she's probably gonna win because my lawyers are my friends studying law, so they're technically not even lawyers. But anyways, that's beside the point. Martha, don't you dare, because that's copyrighted. Thank you. Warm them up with my hands. Kind of go in an upwards motion. I do oftentimes try new products because I'm just... Okay, guys, so I actually approve. We have to give a clap to Martha because she is dragging her skin upwards. If you have to drag your skin and not pat it because patting, as we know, is the best way to go. If you have to really drag your skin, then drag upwards because, you guys, there's actually a little girl called Miss Gravity. And mind you, she is in menopause now. So she's feeling a little bit nervous. She's a little bit, you know, icky. So she will try to hunt you down and drag your face down to her. So what you want to do is work against her. You don't want to approach Miss Gravity. If you see her on the street, look the other way. Pretend to be on the phone with your mom, your friends, whatever. Do not approach her, all right? Because she's dangerous. I'm just very fortunate that so many are sent to me. Um, but if my skin starts reacting in a negative way, then I'll, I'll stop using that product. So this one, I probably, this is a newer one for me. I've probably been using it for about a week and no issues yet. So I do pay attention to ingredients and products and I look them up before I ever use the product. But for me, I pay attention mostly to making sure that quality ingredients are being used. And sometimes the ingredients are confusing because they can be very scientific names or active ingredients, but um, usually there's enough science to back it up if it's a product that I'm going to use. This is, oh my God, you guys, this is so true. Sometimes I have to look up these ingredients in the ingredient list as well because some of them have really weird names and they're really confusing. So Google is your best friend in that case. Don't be afraid to look up on Google all the ingredient lists and what they actually do because it's really important what you're putting on your skin. You are paying attention to what you're eating, so what you're putting in your body. So why wouldn't you pay attention as to what you're putting on your body? You know, it's the same approach. So Martha, props to you. This is a really good tip she's giving. This is Clay de Poe Intensive Fortifying Emulsion. Okay, so as always, let me look the ingredients list up for this, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts. Ah! Okay, Martha, let me get this straight. So you were giving us an inspiring three-minute speech on how you pay attention to what ingredients you put on your skin. You literally look up everything meticulously because you really care about what you put. But then I look up at the ingredient list of this, and literally the second ingredient I, I see, mind you, after water, so technically the first, is denatured alcohol. Like, what's not clicking? Make this make sense. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? Because actually, guys, denatured alcohol is the devil in skincare. Now, mind you, I don't mind it if it's down in the green list so like one of the last ingredients it sometimes some products do be needing a little bit of denatured alcohol in it to work properly however if it's second or third or even first in the ingredient list that is where it's harmful because denatured alcohol is shown not only to be an astringent so it's gonna dry up your skin and remove the moisture from your skin on top of that it's also gonna cause your skin to age premature aging and wrinkles you guys that is just so <laughs> Whenever I think about premature aging, I just start crying because aging is fine and it's cute, but premature aging is not what we want. Anyways, enough with the rant. Apart from that, I also see some other really hydrating and moisturizing ingredients like steric alcohol, glycerin, which are supposed to provide a lot of hydration because see, steric alcohol is one of the good alcohols in skincare. They're good alcohols like steric, benzoyl alcohol, and bad ingredients like denatured and ethanol alcohol, right? Oh, and then interestingly, I also see spinosa root extra and all albumoshos elutions girl what the ass kind of name of an extract is this how am i even supposed to be able to pronounce this but anyways the website claims that these two unpronounceable and alien like ingredients are supposed to stimulate our collagen and repair our damaged collagen so you know that's cute we always love a good collagen protection now personally i wouldn't buy this myself even if it had a gun pointed to my head just because of the alcohol being second in the ingredient list so i would actually personally just rebuke you in the name of the holy spirit please stay away from me and my skin Martha, let's keep watching to see. As of now, it's going quite well. It's a very simple skincare routine, Martha. But I have faith. I have faith, Martha. Pretty sure that just means night cream. <laughs> I do like using really um, silky, soft products on my skin, but I am going to add this Georgia Louise oil. 
and it has a lot of beautiful soothing ingredients like lavender in it. And right now I kind of want to grease up my face because I'm going to use her little rose quartz stone to carve my face to help it feel more sculpted. I've always been simple as more. Okay, so oils are a little bit controversial. Some people love them, some people really hate them. However, my opinion is for dry skin people, they are really beneficial and amazing because they provide that added moisture that really dry skin people can benefit from. Because if you think about it, dry skin is lacking the oil from the oily skin, that sebum. So adding an oil can actually be really beneficial. For oily skin people, that could also be really quick. You, I personally like to use them. You know my top three favorite are tea tree oil. That is also anti-inflammatory, so it's gonna help with your acne a little bit. And then jojoba oil, which is the closest to our actual sebum. So it's gonna rebalance the sebum in our skin and actually make us less oily. And lastly, rose hip seed oil, which is believed to be the natural retinol. So that's also quite cute. But so really guys, my advice, even if you have oily skin, would be just, just try them out. See if you like them, if they break your skin out, if they irritate your skin. Of course, they do stop, but maybe you could actually find to love them. So really don't be scared of oils. They could actually be one of your best friends. Simple as more with skincare in general. So even even using a rose quartz stone is kind of an upgrade for me, but I'm now getting more into gadgets just because I think it's fun to see if the science behind it works. Even if it's placebo, it's still good to give yourself that moment of doing something really nice for you. So I like to go along my jawline and contour it. And I also get a lot of tension in my jaw, so it feels good to just kind of hold it there and massage it. I do think. Okay, wow, so actually she's going really hard with it. Now we know that she's a natural girl because see, I couldn't possibly do that onto my skin because see, I have fillers on the jawline, on the cheekbone, and so if I were to drag that real hard like she's doing it, I, my filler would probably move so I wouldn't be able to do that. So we know she's a natural beauty and for that, we hate her a lot more. But apart from that, I'm actually really happy that Martha decided to use an oil before going in with our rose quartz in this case, or maybe even just a jade roller because that oil is gonna provide slip and slide effects for the quartz to not tug as hard and harshly on your skin, which we know tugging causes wrinkles, so putting an oil before you go in with a jade roller or any other tool that you're dragging around on your face, or putting oil on top would be best. I do think like face massages and sculpting and all that does make a difference over time if you continue to repeat the practice. Or filler. And then I'll do some on my cheek. And this is probably a greasier look than I would normally go for, but this is my ultimate step-by-step -step process for when it's winter time and I've been shooting a lot and my skin needs a full kind of luxurious facial at home. And I get so much sinus pressure that this really helps with lymphatic drainage and letting go of some of that sinus pressure. Like right here. Uh, that feels so good. <laughs> I can just hold it here. Eye cream. This is by Clay de Peau. And this is a nice, sort of thick, luxurious eye cream. Sort of lightly tap it here. And then I'll put the excess on the fine lines on my forehead. I've thought long and hard. Okay, so you guys, you know my opinion of eye cream. I think they're not a must in your skincare routine, just like toners and essences. I mean, if you want to be bougie and it's going to make you feel a lot better by having an eye cream in your skincare routine, then by all means, go ahead and use it. However, I really think it's just an overpriced, repackaged, and a smaller packaged version of a moisturizer. And really, you can use your normal, everyday moisturizer that you use to moisturize your face. You can also use that under your eyes, your active ingredients, any serums that you might be using. You can also use them under your eyes, except for salicylic acids, AHAs, BHAs, and general. That's too hard for your under eye, but all the rest you can. It's gonna have the same effects of an eye cream, so I really don't need them in my routine. I've thought long and hard about if eye cream is real, and I don't know. <laughs> I think it's placebo. I do feel like it helps with the fine lines around my eyes, but I don't know if it's eye cream or if it's just because I moisturize. I don't know. Ah! 
Um, Martha, so I get where she's coming from and I get what you mean, although the argument really is not so much if eye creams work or not, because we know that they work, it's more so the fact that you are actually hydrating the under eye and putting active ingredients in your under eye, that it's making it work and doing the work for you. So if you were to put a normal moisturizer or normal active ingredients under your eye, it would make the same effect of an eye cream. So they work, but they would work just as fine as a normal moisturizer. I don't know if it's just because I moisturize, I don't know. Okay, lip mask. This is Laneige, Laneige, Laneige. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I also love the Laneige Sleeping Mask, just period. But this is just amazing to give you hydration and plumpness in your lips, which is ultimately what we want if we have to, like, smooch any guys. Hopefully, that opportunity will come soon. So, you know, you have to be ready, ready for when that time comes. Keep yourself moisturized and lips wet and plump. So your lips look like a, like pouty French lips. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I do love this lip mask, and I like it because you can sleep with it on, and it really plumps up your lips. But also, you can put makeup over top of it, and it stays. And that has been a tricky thing for me to figure out because usually lip gloss is like a little too greasy, and then makeup slides over it. Whereas with this. It's so sticky that the makeup just sticks on top of it. All right, so I'll do a little spritz of probiotics. And this helps restore the pH of your skin. Because we clean our skin and we often strip away a lot of the dirt and bacteria, this helps put back the good bacteria onto your skin, which also could be pseudoscience, but I think it's fun. I think it's fun to experiment. All right, guys, so we're down to my final. Okay, so this is really interesting. I've never heard of this before. I've never even seen anyone do this step before. I'm really not gonna comment on this because I don't know. I'm actually gonna look this up as soon as I'm done recording this video because I wanna know all the tea about this. But it could be true because I know of good bacteria and bad bacteria in the gut. So it could be true that there could be good bacteria and bad bacteria on your skin. It's really interesting. Mm. Martha, you're giving me some good intel here. Okay. All right guys, so we're down to my final steps. So before bed, not every night, but a few nights a week, I'll have a magnesium drink because magnesium is good for your brain function and it also helps relax your muscles and it's good for bone health. I do take that very seriously. So I'll have my little magnesium berry flavored drink and I'll put on my glasses so grandma over here can get her beauty rest. But thank you guys so much for- Wait, she sleeps with her glasses on? I've never seen anyone sleep with their glasses. I mean, who am I to judge? Let's be real. Like, when I go to bed, I look crazy. I actually put tape on my face. And then I also sleep with no pillows under my head. And I actually put them under my legs just because I don't want any neck wrinkles to form in the long run. So really, I shouldn't be talking and judging anybody going to bed. Because I look cracked, mummified when I'm sleeping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Martha, for even questioning that. You do you, boo. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a thing or two. Or maybe you're learning with me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys. I'm going night night. Bye. She said she's going night night. Oh my god, she's so sweet. Honestly, I'm kind of sad at the end of the video she didn't say, okay guys, so my final and crucial step in my night routine that I do every night and I cannot live without is actually putting my Victoria's Secret angel wings on. I really recommend this to everybody. This is just what helps me to keep me grounded and humble throughout the years and day. Everybody get yourself a pair of angel wings. <laughs> that would have been iconic if I were to be a Victoria's Secret model angel. I would have made that joke. So honestly, Victoria's Secret, if you want to have a male model, I know your shows are canceled now. So sorry. <laughs> but if you were to ever, you know, put them back, then I'm your girl. Because I, I bring personality and fun to a fashion show. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, so actually I was really impressed with Martha as a person because to be honest without any disrespect to any models in general I thought I was gonna see this little self-obsessed superficial girl But actually seeing this video she seems so down-to-earth so humble so nice and also intelligent like to be honest I'm probably more superficial than Martha is so I'm really impressed by her personality now having said that speaking specifically about her skincare routine I have to say Martha not the worst 
first, okay? So you are there, kinda. The steps are there. You are doing your serums. You are doing your moisturizings. You are doing your oils and also that little bougie extra step of quartz. So I mean, it's a simple skin routine. I was expecting, honestly, a lot more from you being a Victoria's Secret model. However, simple for some people can be the best option to go with. I have to say though, my advice to you, Martha, since I know you're watching this video, is you have to pick better ingredients in your skincare products because that serum with alcohol really shook me to the ground. I was about to fall off my chair, especially in the long run, because that alcohol is gonna catch up on you and it's gonna give you wrinkles, honey. No. However, Martha, I am gonna give you props where props and tens are due because you are actually the first person that I've seen here to actually use probiotics and spritz actual bacteria setting spray on your skin. That was a first. I was a virgin before this. Anyways, randoms, I hope you enjoyed this little reaction. If you did and you're still watching, why don't you consider subscribing to the family, the random family? We are all about these kind of reactions, but we're also into skincare. We're very crazy about it. So I would love to have you here. Consider subscribing and turn the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads. And now, randoms, I want your opinion. So I want you to comment down below what you think of Martha Hunt's skincare routine. Is there anything you want to comment on that I haven't touched on that maybe slipped under the rug for me and I wasn't paying attention to? Or is there anything you want to criticize that I said and you don't agree with what anything I said? Let's chat down below because you know I love to reply to all the comments so we can have a little chat down there. Anyways, randoms, y'all know what time of the video. Oh, by the way, also, I would love for you to follow me on my social medias. Like, for example, my Instagram. It is at Matt Randon. If you like what you're seeing here, if you want to keep more in touch, maybe even DM. Don't hesitate to DM me. I would love it if you just gave me a follow on my Instagram, too, so we can be a little more in touch. But anyways, randoms, y'all know what time of the video it is now. It's time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about Miss Martha Hunt, Victoria's Secret model, skincare routine, and Victoria's Secret models are actually angels. The Italian word of the video is going to be Angelo, which is angel in English. But girl, ma'am, excuse me, I know what you're about to do. You're about to click off this video and go away, which I mean, I'm sure you can do that. I'm not blocking you from doing it. However, let me just give you this little quick tip. Wouldn't you enjoy another video from me? If you, uh, let, let's be real, if you watch this far, that probably means you enjoy this personality, you enjoy what you see around here. So why don't you watch another one of these two videos? They're gonna be just as informative, just as funny, because y'all know I deliver. And also, we could bond a little more, and I would love to do that. But oh, remember to be randoms and always be random. Yes, ma'am, you got that right. But watch!